front changes. Now you'll notice the grill now has a large lower section, about as big as the upper, even though only a part of it lets air in. Now likewise, what look like vents flanking this lower grill are actually just for show. Now what's changed with the past two redesigns uh, is the grill has come farther forward, leaving the headlights back here. Uh, the hood used to kind of overhang uh, both the grill and the headlights. Um, also, the headlights are now inboard because all V6 and V8 Mustangs get uh, Xenon headlights. They only fit inboard. So that classic look that we had for a few years with big headlights all the way on the outside, unfortunately that's gone. I pointed out a couple flaws in the previous generation. When they redesigned the front end the first time for this classic inspired version, they had the hood meeting the, the grill's frame in such a way that it, there was a gap. It actually looked like the hood wasn't closed even when it was. Uh, this obviously neatens that up. Also on the GT version, the new hood has heat extractors. These are functional. They actually let heat out of the engine compartment. Another neat feature that we're looking forward to seeing uh, is the pony light. Instead of regular puddle lights that illuminate the ground outside the car when you're coming up or you unlock it, this actually projects the pony logo on the ground. Unfortunately, it doesn't work here yet. Another change for 2013 is the rocker panels, instead of black plastic, are now body colored. Uh, they did this to make it look a little classier. Uh, it also kind of serves to bring the eye down. It makes the car look like it's lower. More changes around back for 2013. The brake lights, the tail lights, the backup lights, and the sequential turn signals are all LEDs now. And you'll notice this entire area is now like a gloss black finish. Uh, it's good. It actually goes really nicely with the optional 19-inch wheels, which have gloss black on them. Um, one other big improvement, uh, this part of the trunk used to kind of protrude, kind of like the thing in the front. It looked like a flaw. Maybe they had rushed the car to market in the previous generation. Obviously, the front changes. Now, you'll notice the grille now has a large lower section, about as big as the upper, even though only a part of it lets air in. Now likewise, what look like vents flanking this lower grille are actually just for show. Now what's changed with the past two redesigns uh, is the grille has come farther forward, leaving the headlights back here. Uh, the hood used to kind of overhang uh, both the grille and the headlights. Um, also, the headlights are now inboard because all V6 and V8 Mustangs get uh, Xenon headlights. They only fit inboard. So that classic look that we had for a few years with big headlights all the way on the outside, unfortunately that's gone. I pointed out a couple flaws in the previous generation. When they redesigned the front end the first time for this classic inspired version, they had the hood meeting the, the grill's frame in such a way that it, 